The Intergovernmental Authority on Development, IGAD, is holding consultative meetings in Entebbe, Uganda, under the IGAD Protocol on Transhumans to address the challenges stemming from pastoralism and the free movement of livestock people in the IGAD region. For many years, IGAD has been making efforts to bring together policy and legal experts from member states to create a framework to allow pastoralists move freely and safely across the borders of member states in search of watered pasture without causing cross-border conflict and spreading communicable livestock diseases across countries. Uganda State Minister for Karamoja Affairs Moses Chizige opened the consultative meeting. He said the protocol would regulate the free movement of persons and livestock, especially in areas such as Karamoja in Uganda and the Tukana in the western region of Kenya, which are largely pastoral communities. It is hoped that the enactment of the protocol will give rights and obligations to pastoralists from these countries. According to the minister, the protocol will also enhance unity among the pastoral communities that often engage in cattle theft, which leaves some of them dead. If the Turkana take our animals, how do we track them? You find the forces cannot cross the border. So we need a protocol where we must ensure that the, when there is a pursuit, these people are able to link with the other security agents in Kenya and make sure that the animals are recovered. As the Minister for Karamoja Affairs, we have said nobody no single community in Karamoja should negotiate with either the Trukanas or the Pokots or the Proposa without involving the office of the Prime Minister. So we are moving in the right direction. Dr. Adan Beaker, who heads the Dryland Development and Climate Change Adaptation at the IGAD Center for Pastoral Areas and Livestock Development, says many member states support the protocol and IGAD will encourage other states to come on board. The Kenya discussed this particular protocol, South Sudan, and Ethiopia and the fourth country now to do it is Uganda. From here we are going to move to Djibouti, Somalia and uh, Sudan. And from there we will have completed the process scrutiny by the legal and policy experts within the, all the member states. The consultative meeting will close on 12th July. Sahel Mugabe, NTV.